Hey guys and welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So today we're taking a look at this. It's the brand new Velociraptor Winston from Rebore. This is an obvious homage to Stan Winston of Stan Winston Studios, the creator of the dinosaurs for Jurassic Park. You can get yours at everythingdinosaur.com. They're also selling the limited edition bronze version which comes with the baby Stan. And if you wanna see the boxes next to each other, here is the miniature Stan recently reviewed on the channel next to the adult Winston. Stan and Winston. So taking a closer look at the box, it comes in this lovely black satin finish with this nice artwork of Winston on the front. The coloration here looks very reminiscent of the Velociraptor that we saw in the Lost World. Here's the bronze version advertised on the back next to the original version. So let's get this thing out of the packaging. Opening up the box, you can see that we've got a lovely foam lined interior. No information fact sheet, interestingly, with mine, uh, but if you remove the foam insert, you'll find Winston in a nice baggie inside. So let's get him out of there and have a closer look. So as you can see, we've got these little elastic band ties, one around the jaw, because it does have an articulated jaw, and two around the feet. Now be careful because the base does detach, as you'll see there, uh, so just make sure you don't let that fall. So here is Winston on its display, and this thing looks incredible. Out of the box, the coloration is much darker than I expected. It actually looks more like the Velociraptor from the original Jurassic Park. And that's no bad thing, because I'm a massive fan of the original Jurassic Park. And what better way to pay homage to Stan Winston. So taking a closer look at the base, you can see we've got a really nice sandy, gritty, detailed base going on here. Very reminiscent of the sand where the raptors escape from in front of the pen complete with the little foot pad so you can put the raptor in its correct position. Underneath we've got this nice artwork of Winston too. Take a closer look at Winston himself or herself. You can see it's a beautiful sculpt, very reminiscent of the raptors that we see in the original Jurassic Park. Really nice glossy green eyes just like the original film and it does have an articulated jaw, it's quite stiff but uh, it does open up. Now, one thing I want to point out to you here is look at those teeth. Now, those teeth have actually been cast in a translucent white plastic and it gives them this really nice naturalistic sort of ivory enamel uh, feeling. Um, and it really means that they glow, they really catch the light. And I think that's really nice. The upper teeth, interestingly, have been painted more of a yellowy color and you can see the interior of the mouth there is very detailed as well. But the base teeth really do catch the light by being that sort of translucent white color. Very nice indeed, very detailed interior of the mouth and just looks exactly like the original Velociraptor from Jurassic Park, if I'm honest. Really love that separation of the lower teeth from the jaw. Moving down the net, you can see lovely airbrushing going on here, nice weathering, just really lovely detail. The arms are articulated, so as you can see, I can move it backwards and forwards. Lovely striping going down here. Got those lovely long, slender fingers that are unique to those Jurassic Park Velociraptors. Really nicely painted on both sides. Just a really nice weathering as well to bring out all that detail, nice dry brushing. You can see really lovely sculpt as well. You can see all that muscle definition. And there's that very unique sickle inner claw. Really nicely detailed. It looks really accurate to the ones that we see in Jurassic Park. So cool. Really nicely glossy as well. The undersides of the feet have been sculpted. You can see there's a the little peg hole to attach to the base. As we move up to the tail again, this detail just carries on. Lovely striping, nice elegant curve in the tail there and then we move on to the other side you can see the detail just carries on really nice detail lovely creases nice muscle definition there's actually really nice contrast in the pose in the legs here if I show you both feet you can see that one is facing forward and one is splayed backwards in this lovely alternate pose really cool you can see the flesh there being pulled across the torso again another articulated arm so you can move this one backwards and forwards, get it into nice poses. And then we're back to that gorgeous head sculpt. Just looks fantastic. And here is the Velociraptor posed with the jaw open and arms forward so you can get a closer look at that. So just how big is Winston? Today we're gonna to whip out the non shatter white ruler. You're looking at about eight inches long, uh, which in centimeters is about 21 centimeters. And in terms of the height, you're looking at about four inches tall which in centimeters, I believe is about 10 centimeters tall. 
And for size comparison, let's bring in the painted Horizon T-Rex. This was painted by Neil Worgen, a fantastic model, but you can see it scales up really nicely uh, with this T-Rex. Next up, let's bring in Stan, the miniature Velociraptor, which is a lovely counterpart to this full-size Winston. You can see they scale up really nicely next to each other. And just for comparison, here's the two bases next to each other, so you can compare those two if you already own Stan. And here's the coloration match uh, between those. So you can see that Stan is almost like a much brighter, more vibrant baby version um, of the adult counterpart, so it's much brighter in coloration. And last but not least, here's Off Color Alan. You can just about make him stand after all these years. And uh, he's a legend. Thanks, Alan. There he goes. He's leaving the review table. So there we have it, guys. That was today's look at the brand new Winston Raptor. This is a fantastic homage to the late and great Stan Winston of Stan Winston Studios. And this is a really lovely model as well. The detail is stunning. And I'm so glad that they went with a coloration that for me is closer to the Jurassic Park Raptor than the Lost World Raptor. It's really nice to see this. Like I said, if you want to pick up one of these, head on over to Everything Dinosaur. Link is in the description down below. And they're also selling the limited edition bronze version, which we will be featuring on the channel soon. Okay, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.